Now, let's visit an old friend back from week one of this course. The generating function of the sequence a n equals c of n plus r minus 1, r minus 1, for a fixed value of r, is 1 over 1 minus x to the r. Now, let's just explain that. Think about 1 over 1 minus x times 1 over 1 minus x times 1 over 1 minus x r times. That's the function 1 over 1 minus x to the r power. Each of those terms, taken individually, produces a geometric series. 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x da, da, da. I get, and now I get another one. 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed, da, da. and then I get another one. And another, I get r of them all together. All right, now I'm trying to figure out what the coefficient of x to the n is when I multiply all this stuff out and gather the terms. Now, how can I get a coefficient of x to the n? How do I get a term? All right, from the first factor, I take x to some power. From the second one, I take x to some power. From the third one, I take x to some power, et cetera. Out to the rth one, I take x to some power. Now, all those terms multiply together. So what happens to the powers? The powers add up. If I take a power 1, then power 2 plus power 3 plus up to power r, the sum of those powers has to add up to n. But that's, wait a minute, that's what we did it was probably the second lecture, but it was certainly the first week of this class in which we talked about, if I give you an integer r, how many different ways can you, if I give you an integer n, how many different ways can you write n as the sum of r non-negative numbers, p1, p2, up to pr? Now, I can tell the difference. First factor, second factor, third factor, up to r factor. So, that is a distribution of the n non-distinct objects into r distinct cells, but with cells allowed to be empty. And how did we do that? We added an artificial number, apple file folder, for every one of the cells. So that took the n, raised it up to r, then we chose the gaps. So there are n plus r minus 1 gaps, and you choose r minus 1 of them. And so we can now just restate that formula that we learned in the first week in terms of generating functions. The generating function, 1 over 1 minus x to the r, expresses the sequence. A n is the binomial coefficient c n plus r minus 1, r minus 1.